Hello? 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 Practicing for when I answer the phone and it's a telemarketer, although that's typically not what I do. What do you do? I typically, if I see a number I don't know, I'll typically answer it and do something completely bizarre. I've answered the phone and said, it's buried. Don't worry, I buried it out back. Or I've just answered the phone and went, Huh? Hey! Hey, hang up. That's kind of what you do on this channel. Yeah. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon follows Twitter accounts. Grab the like button. Uh, today we got a, a video. This is a uh, Sachin Tendulkar brought to tears by Virat Kohli's gesture. Oh, and so this is actually I think a um, they've kind of spliced together Virat Kohli talking about Sachin and Sachin Hearing. talking about Virat Kohli, uh, and so it's kind of like a goat talking about goat, goat kind of talking thing. about goat, uh, and okay. Stuff like that. So let's just get it. And I'm guessing he's brought to tears or I don't know. I hope so. More they're just talking about each other. Yeah. Virat Kohli, who we visited with a, a couple of years ago here in Mumbai. Uh, your t uh, sessions with him in 2014 after his England series entailed what? I hadn't spoken much about that. There were a few areas he wanted to work on and we discussed. He And he gives you a lot of credit. Yes, he, uh, Virat is a good friend and uh, so pleased to see how his career has shaped, you know, in, in the last decade, how when he started, I was part of the team at that time. And I could see that fire in him. I could see that hunger in him. And from there on, how he's worked hard on his game how he's changed his lifestyle to achieve what he's been able to achieve has been remarkable. And in 2014, I remember meeting him and we, we discussed a couple of things uh, uh, where uh, I felt he could get better. What do you think you learned from him? I learned um, humility. I learned absolute commitment to the sport and just after playing for 25 years for your country, still having the commitment to, you know, put the effort that he put when he was on the field is something which I think is a huge, huge learning for anyone. Um, not just in sport, but I think across anything in life. Uh, Virat uh, has, has uh, been tremendous. He's done remarkably well. And uh, there is so much to happen in his career from here on. We all, at some stage in our career, we all need heroes and then uh, the players uh, who have that impact on their generation motivate so many guys and then when I was growing up there was Sunil Gavaskar there. And, and he was that to you, you were that to Virat. How satisfying is it to be able to kind of work with the, the face of the next generation? I think um, I've always believed in, you know, helping players and sharing uh, my knowledge, whatever inputs I have. Uh, always been open to that and uh, Virat had contacted me and he wanted me to spend some time with him, and which, I, which I did. And uh, like I said, that each generation, they look up to their hero and then that's how you set your dreams and you set your targets and then you start chasing them. I remember growing up, he was he was the one who revolutionized the sport in this country, just purely because of the way he went on about things. You'll always have someone who will come and change the sport. Um, so if you talk about basketball, you about Jordan, the way he you know just changed the whole outlook of the game and unlocked new abilities for people to believe in. Um, and that's exactly what he did. What do you remember from the gift that he gave you? Oh. I was, uh, I still remember it just had returned to the dressing room and I couldn't control my tears. <laughs> Till then, I knew, I mean, yes, I'm going to retire, but when that ball was done, 
And I said to myself, okay, that's it. Never ever in your life you will walk out on the field as an international player for India. Imagine for 25 years there's one name that's been constant in the Indian cricket team and now he's not going to be there. We felt like, you know, how, you, how a child feels like when they're scared or they're by themselves at night, you know, walking home and you feel that sort of that hollow and that, you know, emptiness around you. We, all of us felt like that. So I was sitting in one corner alone with a towel on my head and uh, wiping tears and I was really emotional. And at that time, Virat had, Virat had come to me and uh, Virat gave me the sacred thread that his father had given him. Uh, it was from his late father. Yes, absolutely. We usually wear threads around our wrist. In India, a lot of people do. So my father gave one to me, uh, which he used to have. So I used to keep that with me in my bag. And then I thought, this is the most valuable thing I have. So it's like my father gave this to me and I think... Wow. I couldn't give you anything more valuable and I just want you to know how much you've inspired me and what you mean to all of us and this is my little gift to you. Kept that for a while and then returned that to him again. I said, this is priceless and this has to stay with you and no one else. This is your property and you should have it till your last breath. And I gave it back to him. So that was, that was an emotional moment. Mm. Uh, Something, something which will be always uh, there in my memory forever. That's oh, wow. beautiful. Yeah, that's a quite a gift. I don't yeah, know, I don't know if I quite a relationship. Be able to give that up, right? <sighs> yeah, it shows you the depth of their relationship. Um, and it really, it's probably like a a LeBron, um, Michael Jordan relationship between mm -hmm. them. That's probably. I mean, if you guys know basketball, is that pretty accurate? of a comparison those two are basically obviously one still playing though later in his career obviously michael jordan is the consensus basic goat but obviously there's always conversation about yeah lebron but then you also got other goats like Kobe's you got kobe and, and you got wilt chamberlain and a lot of people will talk about magic and bird and but, so but, but the main two always at the top about, it's always is gonna be LeBron michael jordan. And, and michael jordan yeah uh is how they talk and so i guess that's i know like their pedigree but obviously i don't know them as well as indians know them yeah and, and that's either. that's typical as well when people hit certain levels of success those who've done it before them they typically find a bond with each other in some way because no one else in the world can empathize at the level that that person can empathize yeah and it's why it means all the more to them and why you have moments like last year when judge surpassed roger maris his son was there and he had a, a bond happen between him and the maris family because that's something that links them that no one else in the world links in the way that that happened yeah so yeah um yeah it's oh, we saw sachin play we did it was like sadly he was out, out way uh, too soon, but we got to see him and sa chin, sa chin, sa chin. And then the crowd went silent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? His third swing, it was, basically. Yeah, it was he very popped it straight on. up. We're like, no. <laughs> that was uh, that was disappointing. Uh, I'm disappointed the guy caught it. It's Sachin. Give him a break. Yeah, it's actually good. It was an exhibition game. That's rude of you to catch. Yeah, it. drop really? that thing. Something was in my eye. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I'd be able to. Uh, also, I would never. I mean, I, I love that he gave it back to him. I would never be able to accept a gift like that. That'd be wild. Like if somebody was like, I know somebody I knew well, obviously, and they try to give me that, I'm like, there. I, I thank I, you I so thank much. You, that's that's extremely generous, but I cannot take that right <laughs> that is too sentimental of and, and i appreciate the gesture and obviously you get the just by the gesture you know what you mean to them then, then why was it when i gave you that preserved piece of my dad's foreskin you accepted it um no you never gave it back so where is it where is my dad's foreskin <sighs> ask the priest 
Rude. Anyways, uh, let us know other videos uh, we can react to uh, down below. Josh!